let us solve the next problem in the tension member uh, let me read the problem calculate the tensile strength of the channel of size ismc 175 with the gusset plate connected to the web by two rows of 60 mm dia bolts with a gauge of 75 mm use three bolts in each row with a pitch of 50 mm so in this problem we have to calculate the tensile strength of the channel sections the gauge distance is given as 75 mm they also given the number of bolts as 3 in each row you ask to use a 16 mm diameter of diameter bolts this since this is a channel section first you have to get the properties of the section from the steel table so let me write out the properties of the sections area of the section is 1424 mm squared overall depth is 175 mm breadth of the flange breadth of the flange is 60 mm the thickness of the flange is 6.9 mm thickness of the web is 3.6 mm based on the given data let me draw the diagram see this is the channel section total depth is 175 mm thickness of the flange is 6.9 mm thickness of the web is 3.6 mm this thickness is 3.6 mm the gauge distance the distance between the two rows of the bolts is given in the problem as 79 mm so total depth is 175 the in between the distance between the two rows is 75 means the remaining is 100 mm that was divided by 2 gives 50 mm on the either side this is the cross sectional view let me draw the side view in that i am able to see the three number of bolts in each row see this is the one row that we are having a yeah three bolts here also we are having a three bolts and also they have mentioned that gauge pitch distance as 50 mm pitch means is the distance between the center to center of the fasteners that means center to center of the bolts in the direction of the force this is the direction of the force if you measure the distance parallel to the direction of the force means that can be called as a pitch if you measured perpendicular to the direction of the force means that can be called as a gauge here gauge is 75 mm pitch is 50 mm this channel section is connected to the gusset plate by using the two rows of bolts through the web of the section so first we will calculate the strength due to yielding of the cross section that is tdg that can be obtained by using the formula ag into fi by gamma m not this formula is available in is 802 2007 in the class 6.2 page number 32 see this is the class 6.2 page number 35 tdg equal to ag into fi by gamma m not the area g is the grass area of the section grass area of the section steel is obtained from the steel table as 1424 fi is the yield distance that is 250 gamma m not is 1.1 that value is obtained from table 5 page number 30 let me go to the page table 5 page number 30 see this is the table 5 page number 30 provide the partial safety factor for the materials gamma m not for yielding and buckling is the value is 1.1 So I have to use the value as 1.1 here. So dividing by 1000, it will give in the results in terms of kilonewton. So TDG value is obtained as 323.64 kilonewton. Next, we have to find out the strength due to rupture of the critical section. Strength due to rupture of the critical section. So for that, we have to refer the class 6.3.3 page number 33. let me go to the page in is 800 2007 this is design strength due to yielding of the cross section followed with the design strength due to rupture of the critical section for plates they have given different equations then they have given to calculate the tdn value they have given different equation for threaded rods they have given different equation for angles but they didn't provided any equation for the channel sections even channel section is considered web is connected so that will be the connected part 
the two flanges are outstanding so uh, across this section is not uniform due to shear lag effect by considering the shear lag effect they have given an equation for the angles the same can be used for the channel also so let I have to use the equation TDN equal to 0 0.9 ANC FU by gamma M1 plus beta AG0 FI by gamma M0 where beta is 1.4 minus 0 0.076 W by T FI by FU B by BS by LC they also provided a condition for it should be less than or equal to FU into gamma M0 by FI by gamma M1 it should be greater than or equal to 0 0.7 you have to write all these equations in the TDN equations, the unknowns are A and C, A G naught, that net area of the connected leg, A G naught is gross area of the outstanding leg, then beta. First, I will find out the value of beta. Okay. So, for TDN, this is the expression TDN. This is obtained from this class. Already seen the IS 800. This is the equation to calculate the beta. So, first we have to find what is meant by W. Once you know the value, you can substitute in this. What is meant by W? Let me go to the code. Where W is the outstanding leg width. Outstanding leg width is. So, if it is an angle, means the, this leg is the connected leg. This is the outstanding leg. They are considering that width as W. Outstanding leg width. Here, if we consider the channel section, the web is connected, the flange is outstanding one. Therefore, this width can be considered as W that is equal to breadth of the flange of the channel section. Breadth of the flange of the channel section is 60 mm. Therefore, W is equal to your W is equal to 60. Then coming to BS. BS is what is mean by BS as per the code? BS is the shear lag width. BS is the shear lag width. How they have obtained this value as shown in figure 6? To get the BS value, they have mentioned as W plus W1 minus T. W is outstanding leg portion. W1 is from this edge to center of this fastener. Then they have detected minus T. This, how they have obtained this formula? Very simple. They have calculated... Uh, by adding the central line distance from the free edge. Central line distance from the free edge. If you consider from this edge to the center line, what will be your distance length? W minus T by 2. Then coming to measuring the W1 from the center line of this leg, that will be W1 minus T by 2. So summing these two values, W minus T by 2, W1 minus T by 2 that can be rewritten as W plus W1 by adding two D by 2 values they are mentioned as a 1 T as minus T. So how they have obtained this value that is nothing but the distance from the free edge to center of the fastener measured through the center line. This is the logic to obtain the BS value. The same can be applied to the channel also let me coming to the channel okay so i have to measure the center to center distance of this fastener to here then center to center of this fan summing these two values starting from the center of this fastener to the uh, edge is our bs how we can obtain this value well, the total width b is the total width b is 60 so 60 minus this is the thickness of the web so, thickness of the web, half of the thickness of the web have to, to be detected from that length. So, therefore, W minus T by 2 is here that T is thickness of the web. That should be clear. Then coming to this edge, from this, you can see the diagram. From this edge to center of the fastener hole is 50 mm. I need the distance from the center of this outstanding leg to this center of this fastener means I have to detect the half of the thickness of the flange. Here I have to detect T by 2. That T is nothing but your TF, thickness of the flange. Here we are using channel sections. 
it is having different thickness for thickness of the flange as well as for the thickness of the web. In the earlier case, we used angle sections, the thickness is uniform, therefore they have made it as a uh, by adding my, 2 minus t by 2 as a 1t in their equation. So, by using that logic, we can find out here. Here, this t is equal to w1 minus t by 2. This t is half of this value. We are detecting this value. This is 6.9 by 2. Here, this indicates tf. Okay. 50 minus 6.9 by 2. So, Vs can be half. Got it. Then, LC, length of the connection. Length of the connection is nothing but the, the uh, central line distance from the first fastener to the last fastener. Coming to the diagram, so this is the starting fastener to the end fastener. The distance in between this first fastener to last fastener central line length is the length of the connection LC. Here we are having two pitches, pitch is the center to center distance between the fasteners measured parallel to the post that is 50, here also 50. 2 into 50 gives the LC length of the connection equal to 100 mm. Clear na? 2 into 50, 100 mm. Once you know all the values, you can substitute in the beta equation 1.4 minus 0 0.06. This is W, W by T. T is which 60 we are using? Outstanding leg. So, outstanding leg thickness only has to be used here. Outstanding leg thickness is thickness of the flange that is 6.9. Okay. OST that is why I mean outstanding leg. Then Fy by Fu, then this is Bs by Lc, Bs by Lc, see the formula, Bs by Lc, then, then again the limit is, see the formula, Fu, 410, gamma m0, 1.1, Fy, 250, gamma m1, 1.25, this one is 0.7. So, by calculating these values also, this is the limits for the beta value that is 1.44 is higher limit, lower limit is 0.7, our value is in between these two, it is greater than 0.7, less than 1.4, we can use safely, we can use this value beta equal to 0.978. Once you know the value of beta, then next go to the DTN equations, the unknowns are A and C, then beta and AG naught. These three are the unknowns. First now we have completed the calculation now to find the value of beta. Next we have to calculate the ANC and the AG naught. ANC is the net area of the connected leg. AG naught is the grass area of the outstanding leg. Here they used the 16 mm diabolt. So I will find out the diameter of the hole equal to 16 plus 2. 2 is the standard clearance. So, uh, the standard clearance value is obtained from the table 19, page number 73. By adding this, I got the value of diameter of the hole as 18 mm. Okay. Then coming to the calculation of the net area of the connected leg. So, net area of the connected leg is, that is the, uh, for, for this case, we have to consider only the web portion. So, because that only is connected to the gasset. So, I will consider only the web portion, clear web distance, clear web distance. Total depth. The total depth of the channel is 175. If you need a web alone, we have to detect that two times the thickness of the flange. The top one, we have a thickness of the flange at the top as well as at the bottom. If you detect these two thickness, we can, will get the thickness of the web alone. So, I will write it as 175 minus two times thickness of the flange. Flange is 6.9. That means we will get the, the clear web. In this clear web, we are having two holes. So, we have to detect two numbers of, this indicates the two into diameter of the hole. Diameter of the hole calculated as 18 mm. We will use that one. Then, all these things into, this is the length. By multiplying length into thickness, we will give the area. Which thickness has to be used? Now, we are dealing with the web portion. So, we have to use the thickness of the web. Uh, thickness of the web. What is the thickness of the web? The thickness of the web is 3.6 mm which is obtained from the steel table, the starting itself. So, by simplifying this, 
we can get the net theory of the connected legs as 450.72 mm square next we are coming to the gross area of the outstanding leg gross area means no need to deduct uh, any hole diameter so outstanding leg we are dealing with the outstanding leg for outstanding leg and all uh, this 60 is the outstanding leg web is connected so flange is the uh, outstanding one for that i have to consider only the center line distance up to this one because it is a uh, this center line length only i need for the calculations so how i can obtain this one 60 is outer to outer dimensions i need the center of this web to this edge so 60 minus thickness of the web by 2 that is the thickness of the web is 3.6 I have that's why I mentioned as 3.6 as thickness of the by 2 gives the center line length from the center of this portion to center of this portion to edge. That distance is 60 minus 3.6 by 2. So length I have got it. Then into thickness. Thickness is thickness of the flange only we have to use because we are now talking about the flange. Flange thickness is 6.9. So this will give the area. So we are having two flanges. We are having two flanges, so that's why I am multiplying this with two. I got the AG not equal to eight not eight not three point one six mm squared. Okay, once you know the value of AMC and AG not, we we can substitute all the values, including beta, in the TDN expression to find the value of TDN. That is zero point nine into expression is AMC net area of the connected leg. Net area is four fifty point seven two. That has to be used here. Then F U four ten divided by gamma M one. That is one point two five. Then coming to this one, beta. Beta we calculated as zero point nine seven eight. See zero point nine seven eight. Beta is there. Then A G not grass area of the outstanding leg. F Y two fifty divided by divided by gamma M not. Gamma M not is one point one. Substituting all these things, we can get the results in terms of newton by dividing by thousand. You can get the TDN result in terms of kilo newton. Next, we have to calculate the block shear strength TDP. But here, the web is connected to the gusset plate by two rows of lines. Two rows of shear lines are there. Therefore, block shear may not govern the design. The block shear strength will be definitely higher than all this value. So, therefore, I didn't calculate that value. So. To get the tensile strength of the channel section, I am considering only the least of TDG and TDN. TDN is 322.8. TDG is already calculated that TDG is 323.64. Least among these two values, your strength result that is TDN 322.8 kilonewton. This is your